All right, 2023 season was a success. Uh, this year we added about 2,000 pixels. Uh, most of that number comes from the outline of the lawns and the walkway. So we got about 700 on this, this run right here. So data's coming out of the culp. Uh, starts here, goes all the way around. And then, you know, ends right here. There is power injection at a couple spots. <clears throat> I think three. We got one. We got one right here. And then we got a little space right here. I miscalculated when I did my measurements. So we got a little eight inch space here where we uh, inject power. I think there's one spot somewhere over here with power as well. I uh, can't quite see it. Uh, maybe it's up somewhere over there. But yeah, anyhow, 700 on that one. It's about 700 somewhere over here. Uh, but same thing. It actually starts at that corner and then goes to the right. A couple power injection spots here. So this culp controller here, we've got two runs. We've got one going to the right, which is for the lawn. And then we've got one for the right side of that walkway going up. And we've got two more data runs over here. One's going up here for the left side of the walkway. And then we got one going this way or <clears throat> that side of the lawn absolutely recommend these kind of lawn outlines that give so much depth and i think volume is not the right word here but just so much volume to like what you can do uh with like left to right forward to backward up and down so yeah absolutely love them so that was a majority of it. These are just drilled PVC pipes. Everyone asks how you bend them. You basically just put them on the ground and use some stakes and bend them. So you can see just a little stake in the ground. And you start just kind of bend them around and around and around. Not, not difficult at all. Uh, each pipe is 50 pixels. So on, on the ones on the lawn on this side and, and over here, these actually face out towards the street and the walkway they face up and you can't tell a difference at all. Like they look the same no matter what. So these are facing up. The ones over there facing out, they all look the same. <clears throat> also this year, we added verticals to all the corners of the house. So these are right here. Coming down, use the simple little magnet. So that's permanently mounted to the house. It's a little piece of steel, a little steel washer. If I come around this side, our usual clear clip with the magnet and a flush mount countersunk bolt. So let's just kind of come over here and click right in place. Pretty easy. Just extended the run out from above of the data line. So pretty much no problem. So I added I think six verticals. Go one there, one there, one there. And it should be the same thing on the other side. Yep. Three there. So that kind of give give a lot more, again, height or depth to like the house. Before, really the only thing we had for like up and down was like the window sides, which are kind of short. So the verticals definitely give a lot more uh, up and down movement. Again, seven wireless Culp controllers 
Uh, there is zero ethernet cables on this show. Everything is Wi-Fi, uh, all five volt pixels. Uh, last year, I was really, really impressed with the Kauf, K-A-U-F uh, bulbs that were, we were using. So we ended up running them all year and, you know, changed colors with WLED for, for lights, you know, throughout the different seasons. But we had pretty much every single light fail. So we had eight uh, soffit bulbs and two uh, bulbs in there. Uh, every single every single light failed. Uh, so I ended up buying five more lights. So I put two here, one up there, <coughs> and two in the front, just because most of the songs we, you know, programmed had those lights used, used and they're actually missing some pretty good effects um, when the sequence is played. So I cannot recommend the cough bulbs for 365 use. Uh, they just don't last. Um, I will be taking these out in the off season and putting in just dumb bulbs. And then after the fact, we will probably continue to just put these in I'll buy some replacements again and run these only for the month of December to actually uh, get those soffit you know, like you know floodlight looking lights down um, pretty bummed reach out to cough a few times uh, nice guy you know he said he had no, no one else complained with his problems but uh, I'm not sure what we're doing here to make these bulbs not last, but uh, having every single bulb fail clearly is some kind of problem. So that's kind of the overview. Um, I will talk about one thing here that's probably going to be, I don't know, people are going to disagree with me here. That's fine. I'm not over here telling people how to do things. Um, but uh, you know, five volt, we do a lot of power injection. We're not, we're not scared of power injecting. Um, you talk to people about running multiple power supplies on a, one prop with, you know, bringing power across or you can't, you can't bring the power across. You can only bring the data across or the, only the ground. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I just try it and see what happens. This is our second year of what I would probably call parallel um, power supplies. So essentially what's happening, we're actually combining the, the ground and the power of multiple power supplies on a single prop uh, with absolutely no problems at all. So uh, an example of this would be this run right here. Oh, my finger. <clears throat> this run right here, the data comes in from this pixel and it runs all the way up. So that's a good 40 feet of run, uh, 280 pixels or so. So we got one port out of the cough controller that's taking that data, power and ground, going into to here. And of course, you know, by about 150, 200 pixels later, you're going to have voltage sag, right? You're going to not run any volt, run out a little voltage here. So we take, again, power and ground from this separate controller. And then, you know, this is, this is the power line and ground line that goes into this. And we basically power inject it. Here's the line coming in, and we actually, again, we, we apply power and we apply ground <coughs> right to that prop, and we have no problems <coughs> with anything. So we got five volts, power, ground, and data from that controller, and we got five volts, power, and ground from that controller going into here. Okay, maybe it's a fluke, whatever. Do the exact same thing on this side. So this prop, same problem. 
we get power and ground from the controller, comes across, goes in here. And then we're actually getting power and ground. Again, here's our, our data. Sorry, not data. Here's our power injection T coming in here. And we're pulling it from here. <clears throat> so power and ground, five volts on each side, no problems. Third test. This controller, five volts, powers this tree. Data signal, power and ground, go over here. These trees are about 300 pixels each. Clearly it needs power injection. Instead of running the power all the way from over here, we basically just tap off the power and the ground from here. So one of these goes to the flat tree, and then one goes to that, uh, this guy over here. And then for the final test, we do the other lawn prop over here. So we got power and ground and data coming across, right under here, and starting this, you know, 420 pixel, oh, wait, my hand's up there, 420 pixel strand all the way across. But we are not bringing <clears throat> power and ground from here. We're basically getting power and ground from the, the the Culp 16 or the 32 over here. <clears throat> Again, power injection coming from over here. So we've been successful with running all meanwhile power supplies. Again, I'll call it parallel injecting. I don't know the right the right term on this, but we are adding five volts to multiple at multiple points from multiple power supplies on one prop uh, with no problems. Makes it much easier than having to run, you know, hundreds of feet of uh, power injecting lines where you can just kind of grab a short line from a closer power supply and just go that way. So yeah, we'll get the video online here this week of the actual show, but uh, another great year. Upset with the cough bulbs, kind of suck for long-term use. Great for light shows. Um, so we will see how that works next year. Otherwise, yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions. On to the next year.